Hey teachers, I want to quickly show you what Pebble Go Next looks like in case you would like to use it in your classroom. It will have its own button down on the student start page next to Pebble Go that will log you in. Um, but if you need the login and you go to Pebble Go Next, you just click login and then you type arrow ES for the username and school for the password. Once you log in, you'll see that there are um, a few different databases. There's one on states, and it has an article about every one of the states. There's a science database, American Indian history, social studies, and biographies. Um, I want to just take you inside an article so you can see what one looks like. So we'll go to our Georgia article. Um, if you're familiar with Pebble Go, uh, Pebble Go Next is set up in a similar way, but it has um, much longer text, um, but it still is broken up into categories. One big difference with Pebble Go Next is it, that it scrolls just as one long web page, um, but it is broken down by headings up at the top. So you can jump down to a specific part um, of the page if you want to. Um, it does read each section separately, so you'll notice that since there is so much text, um, it allows the students an opportunity to pause along the way by not having to listen to the entire page. They can click on just that section and listen to that part, or they can read it uh, themselves. So hopefully you will uh, take advantage of this while we have it. Pebble Go Next is not something that we have a subscription to normally. They're just giving this to us for free um, since we already had a, a subscription to Pebble Go. And if you enjoy this and it seems like something that you might want to use in the future, then we can certainly consider getting a subscription to Pebble Go Next. So try it out and let me know what you think.